everybody. My name is Sherry. Welcome to my stamp studio. So we survived the um, great blizzard that really wasn't. I mean, we got a lot of snow and we did get some ice, but it wasn't nearly as bad as some of the predictions had said it would be. And today it's really kind of bright and beautiful and lots of people still get to work from home, but my husband had to go to work. Um, so when I originally thought this week planned it all out. I didn't think I'd be able to record today. It's Friday. Um, so I'm happy that I'm able to do get a couple of videos in because the video I'm going to do today is to introduce to you my February online class. So if you've not taken my classes before or you haven't done much with me, um, about three times a year I do retreats, online retreats. One day it will be back in person again. Um, but until the world's normal, until the supply issues are normal, the thought of doing an in-person one just kind of, it's too much work. So instead of doing retreats, last month I did like a choose your bundle um, for my online classes. That was the plan for this month. I was going to do choose your bundle and it was going to be what I'm going to show you today and then the rainbows. And I had everything ready, the links, the the little pictures that I make, all of it. And then the rainbow dies have gone on back order. So for the last couple of days, I have debated, do I still go ahead with the class as is and hope that the rainbow dies come in? Um, they're, they weren't gonna, they're not gonna do until the end of February. And often what happens is they give us a date and then that gets pushed out a couple of times. So I thought about doing the class and then sending you the dies when they finally came in. Um, that's just disappointment for you and more work for me. So what? here's what I'm doing. I'm just gonna do the daffodil class just going to be a regular online class. I'm stocking up on some rainbow paper. Um, so I think I still will have a rainbow option in the future because the rainbow paper is part of celebration. So this is a, uh, the project I'm going to do today is not going to be in the class, but I am going to do a daffodil class. So I'll tell you a little bit more about that, but this is continue on for my celebration series because I'm going to get through this. I've done the Island vibes. Now I'm on to the daffodils. I've done, I've done probably three quarters of this is has been finished. So I'm getting there. Um, but I am going to use the Daffodil Afternoon Delight Designer Series paper. It is beautiful. And I've heard several people now say that until they saw it in person, um, they didn't realize how beautiful it was. Um, so it's really, really pretty. The thing that's a little bit different about it is it, it's vanilla based, which most of our card stocks, um, the color, the that's in it is white. So it does make a difference. It makes it look a little bit more vintage. I have um, some of it here I will show you. Now I've, I've used it for, oh gosh, we've used it, well I did this at camp. <laughs> um, we used it obviously in the try it class. I think that I used it mm, in the VIP videos last month, maybe. Maybe it's this month. So I have like random pieces. I don't, this is one of my favorites. This piece and this piece are two of my favorites. But sometimes I think that, and then like today when I cut this, I thought, oh, that's really a pretty piece. Um, so it's gorgeous paper, 12 by 12, as you can see, and it is um, free with a $50 purchase. So the nice thing about my class is that you'll get a whole packet of paper um, free. So there's, I will have a, a when you buy the bundle, and if you buy the bundle, not only will you get the paper free, you're gonna get a wink of Stella free. I had to go check, make sure they were still available right before I started the video. Um, then you'll get the supplies to make four cards and the videos to go with those. I'm gonna show you the card I'm gonna do today, not one um, that will be in the class. It's just an extra that you will be able to do. Here's some other cards that I have made. And now on today's card, I'm not using the dies, I'm using the stamps. I have not used the stamps yet on a card. Um, but in the class, we'll do two stamp-based cards and then two die-based cards. So you'll get to learn how to put those together. This is on my YouTube channel. This is the paper, and it's the paper without the daffodils. Um, you won't have that option for me. Well, I mean, if you already have it, you can just buy the card pack. But um, in the future, you can mix it because it does mix. Like on this particular piece of paper, there's a ton of flowers. We have other stamp sets that include those flowers. This was my VIP, I did. This was my VIP video project last month. So if you purchase from me on my website, then you get a special video and I send you the supplies and you, um, it's a private video and then you can make it along with me. And this was my Try It Club thing. So if you're in the Try It class, you can go back and make that one. So here is this, the bundle. So it's about $55. Um, and then shipping, handling, and tax on top of that. On one of the cards that I've made recently, I left out the Easter, so it would just say blessings. On today's card, I don't have a sentiment, um, but it comes with a ton of dies, 
and most of the dies are so you can build the daffodils. But today I'm just gonna use, because it also comes with dies to cut out these two and then the butterfly. So we're just gonna do a kind of an old fashioned, just stamp it and cut it out. But what I do love when you have a die that cuts out your stamps like that is it gets those middle bits. So I'm gonna use my Stamparatus because as you can see, it has this like scrolly thing. And those are hard to get straight, right? So I'm gonna put this in here. I've just lined it up over to the side. Let's see if this is in the right spot. I want it to kind of go off the edge of the card. My other one doesn't go off the edge of the card. I'm gonna make a couple of changes to this one from my original card. That looks good. And then when I put it in, I just knew it was straight. And so if you know it's straight, then just line it on a straight line on your Stamparatus. I'm gonna use, if you do the class, you will need a Stella if you don't get the full bundle, but then it will be free. Um, and then you'll need the colors of ink, but black, and then the colors of ink that are listed in the paper. And those will be on my website um, where you sign up the colors that you need. And you can make do with others. Like if you had Bumblebee, you could substitute that instead of crushed curry. This paper has a ton of the greens in it. So this is crushed curry. I have stamped that. I'm going to move it up because you know our thing does the, the ladder. Move it to there. And then move it up again. So I'm going to fill this. I'm going to make... Uh, my own little background and this particular stamp and the one we're going to use to in just a second out of this stamp set can be used with anything it doesn't have to be with the daffodils you could just do these and crisscross them back the other way because you can do that with the stamparatus so super easy like I could put this down here and line one up I could do it for you but then watch it not whoops went one too high because I'm talking one too low <laughs> There we go. You just move it up one notch every time and then it's nice and straight and perfect. So let's see if I put it, yeah, if I put it in here, it's going the wrong way. Um, but you could go back and forth. You would have had to have done your card from the opposite direction. And since that was just a thought I had just now, but you can see that this would be able to, you could use it for wedding cards. You could use it with any of your flower stamps to kind of make a really pretty trellis. Let's move that out of the way. And you don't have to use your Stamparatus. If you um, can stamp pretty straight, then you could do that. Or you could stamp intentionally crooked. So then it also comes, I love, 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 love to splatter with a blend. <laughs> so if you watch my channel, you know I often splatter with a blend. So nothing makes me more happy than when our stamp, stamp sets come with a splatter. Back, way back, way, way back, like 25 years back, we had a little stamp set that was four and it lasted for years. Um, and it was back when you put the sticker on your wood block and it was splatters, it was a little square block. I used it so often that I wore the sticker off. So I've just inked this little splatter in black and I am going to barely touch it to my card because I just want light splatterings of black. This is also great when your card might get a little dirty. I don't want it everywhere. And then I'm gonna go right here and a little darker. And I always overdo it. My other one hot will have less, but because I, whoops, I need that still. But because I'm talking to you and because I'm showing you, then there's always a little bit more on my video cards. So then I just have a scrap of vanilla. Like I said, it's vanilla based. You could use white and it would make your daffodil pop a little bit more. For this one, I'm just going with the single daffodil. The bouquet would look beautiful as well. So um, you wanna know why I chose a single? <laughs> I will tell you why, because it's faster for me to color one flower for you on video than it is for me to color all of them. But you could easily switch it to the other. So just got that. And then I'm going to color this, like I said, in the class we will use Stella and the inks. Um, you might need a blending brush too. If you watch my other video where I put the thing together, I did use a blending brush to create my daffodils. So I'm gonna use my Evening Evergreen first. You can see I've pressed down on it, so I have some ink there. It takes very little ink to color this, but it is so pretty. Just make sure a little bit of ink is coming out of your Stella. And then just brush this on. So this is Evergreen. And you can see as you pull it, the color gets lighter. So I'm gonna start at the tips of all of my leaves and then pull down. So the tops all start darker. 
and it's so shimmery. And hopefully the sun will help it a little bit when I hold it up for you in a second. But it is one of those things. I like to do this in my classes because that way, if you think, oh, that's probably pretty, but it doesn't look that great because you can't see it on camera, then this forces you because I just sent you a free Stella. It forces you to try. So now when I try to hit this from the middle, I'm trying to get, see here on my ink pad where I have less ink, I'm trying to pick up less. So it won't be quite as dark. And then I'm just gonna let the ink run out, which it's um, sparkly, cause it's the Stella. And if you have not used a Stella before, we will start out in class and I'll show you how to get it primed and ready because I do I do have a video because it's one of those things that people are like, I don't know how, my Stella does not work but it's because you have to get it ready. And the, once you've used it the first time, then you're good. So now this is Mossy Meadow. It's just a little bit of a lighter green, just there for the stem. Now, I don't want this green to go into my yellow, so I'm just gonna get that off. You don't wanna do that too much just till your color's gone, otherwise you're just using up your beautiful um, Wink of Stella fluid. Now, this is back to the daffodil. Now, this is crushed curry. This is the darker of the yellows. So I'm just gonna hit, I'm gonna grab right here where there's a ton of the yellow and hit these little kind of like folds in the petals. And then this little flip over right here just to give it a little bit of two tones of yellow when I get the other one on. The other one is daffodil, which is a lighter yellow. And if I wanted lighter curry, you could just make it work with one color. Just let the paint run out of your Stella so it gets lighter and lighter. Just add that second coat there. So, so pretty. Now this time I don't need to clean it because I'm going to go from light colors to light colors. Like I didn't clean it in between the Mossy Meadow and the Evergreen. Because if you're going from green to green, you don't need to waste your Stella to clean that out. So for the middle of the flower here, I'm just gonna get a dab, and you can see I didn't clean it, of the Flirty Flamingo. And then just kind of brush a little bit of this off down here in the tips. And then get that darker off so my next yellow, which is Daffodil, will be lighter. So super easy and it will be beautiful. This is a fun spring set, but we're gonna do daffodils. Um, it's perfect time. Now that the snow, like right, that it's starting to be a little bit more sunnier. It doesn't get dark at five o'clock. Spring's coming, people. One of the girls um, on my team, my team is called Beautiful Images. So I have two team pages. I have one that's just the girls that have signed up directly under me. And then the other one's called All the Beautiful Images. Um, and it is anybody who's signed up under me and then everybody that has signed up under them as far as it goes. Um, so that one's called All the Beautiful Images. But one of the girls posted a picture of the weather because we are everywhere all over the United States on that Facebook group to see what the weather was like in other places. But she also lives in Indy, so she had... Um, Oh, a snow picture. So I posted one of my pool because I do like to do laps even in the um, winter in the pool, but it has, there's snow clear up to the edge of the pool. My husband hasn't done anything in the backyard. He just dug his car out today to go to work. So I'm gonna put this on here, line that up. Now, if you have problems with your dyes moving and sometimes you're like, oh, I didn't do a very good job cutting that out. And watch me say this and it's going to happen to me. Um, I would cut first, paint second. Because then otherwise you've just wasted all this time and all this paint and all this energy. And then it gets ruined. So I, like I said, this is going to cut out some of those middles. Which is my favorite part about these kind of dyes. Oh, I'm thankful it did not move. Isn't this pretty? Let me see if I can get the sun so you can see it's just, it's so sparkly, but it's not so sparkly that you're like, oh, that's a glitter daffodil. It just adds just a wink, a wink of some sparkle. So now I'm going to take, I have cut, and these are different sizes than my other ones because these, you can see I had a bunch of scrap paper in my thing. So there are actually two patterns. There's this pattern and this pattern. And I've just um, grabbed four of them. And they're all a little bit shorter than four inches, I think. So I'm gonna take two. So let's take 
Um, let's take the two black ones. It must be 11 o'clock. That's when they test our um, tornado sirens every Friday at 11 o'clock in Indiana or Indianapolis at least. So I'm gonna lay this in here. And I have just been on a kick using this folder. So if you follow me ever since I did it on the, um, on the horizon, I just keep using it. It just sits here on the table. I'm like, oh, this will look pretty with this. So this is just gonna give it a little bit of texture, but I'm not gonna do all of them. That way I will have um, some texture and some not texture. Just roll that through here. So, I'm glad my husband went to work today because if you're in club, you're going to get a club video. Maybe today, maybe I'm going to film it today. And I'm also doing my VIP video projects today. So, I already mentioned if you purchase from me on my website um, and it's like a merchandise purchase, um, then you get the um, special VIP videos. And those are always fun for me to do. So, I'm going to film that today. So I've got this on here. Now I don't want to stick it to my card because I want to be able to wrap ribbon about around it, but I want to make sure everything's going to fit. And this is different, like I said, because the sizes are a little bit different than my other one. So I'm going to go right to the edge of this and stick it kind of higher. Because you know, this didn't fill the whole thing, but that's okay. We have some scrap paper. Don't want to throw the scrap paper away because in my studio, we use paper. We don't hoard it. We use embellishments. We use our ribbon. So we put lots of everything on because there's no sense in hoarding it. Nobody's ever gonna get any joy or happiness out of it if it just stays in your closet. So if you bought it, use it. So let's go this way here. This is completely different than my other one. Not completely. These are different sized pieces. So I don't wanna cover up all those. So I'm gonna go a little bit lower. This can go off the edge because this vanilla piece is four by five and a quarter. And you know, our card is a little bit bigger than that. And then let's go we get enough of the black that way my other ones were thinner because they were smaller scraps but i am going to go this oh uh, yeah now i'm going to take two ribbons because like i said we don't hoard we like it to look beautiful and if i bought it i'm going to use it so this is okay now this is not crushed curry and it's not daffo dill it is bumblebee but it looks fine. So don't get hung up on not having the exact same green or the exact same yellow. So this is the Bumblebee Gingham Ribbon. It is in the annual catalog. And I'm sure um, in the online class that at least one of the cards will have it. You can see I used it on one of my other ones. I think it just, stop talking and tie. Um, I think that the Gingham just has that fun spring warm weather feel to it. To be giant. So have my bow. This time I think I'm gonna go through this paper here. The other one's underneath it. It's just gonna look a little bit different just cause my paste, these scraps were a little bit different in size. And the other one, I kind of like angled some of them, but save your little scraps. And you can see I keep my stuff in one of those big 12 by 12 craft keepers. I just got them on Amazon. You can just slide them back in your um, package of paper if you're not like me and you don't have six open packages at one time because sometimes you know I use them for a class or something and so I have lots of them open so I just stick them in there but just take your scraps and shove them back down in them with paper and then when you do a card like this you don't need to cut a whole new piece I'll fold these back here and then you can see I'm going to use this twine now this is evergreen and it came out of the baseball suite so I know sometimes it happens all the time with Halloween and Valentine's people are like well I don't make those cards which is always surprising to me that as stampers we don't do more Valentine cards but I think they have a reputation for like the little kids things but sometimes if you don't like I don't do baseball so you don't look at the whole page but this twine is a, tr a trio of tr trio of twine and it's super fun and I've used it on lots of cards and I haven't made a baseball card yet except for try it and then I wasn't going to get get it because we don't do baseball here either. Um, my husband will watch cricket because, you know, he's from Australia. And then we're big Colts and Pacers fans. So we football and baseball. And Indy has a minor league baseball team. And we go sometimes, but it's not like it's our thing. Um, my daughter played softball, but 
only because she was determined to play everything. But when you see the baseball dies, the tickets are perforated and they cut tickets. So I got the whole thing because it's cheaper when you buy the bundle. So I will make the baseball card because I know some of you are into baseball. Um, I just, in the club email that I've sent, it's ready to go. I just need the video for it. Uh, I talk about how not everything I use is my favorite. But I know that something I might not like some, might be one of your favorites. And I know that very, for a fact, because my daughter is a stamper and she, you know, is 29 years younger than me. And what appeals to her is often 180 from what appeals to me. But once one of us has it and then we use it, we're like, oh, I like that. And sometimes just because you like a stamp set doesn't mean that everybody that you make cards for likes that stamp set. So, my nephews are into baseball. They play baseball. So, I can get a baseball set. Even though making baseball cards isn't my thing, I can use the stamps. How much fun is that? Isn't that pretty? And then, for the embellishments, I'm going to use the In Color Jewels. These are the annual catalog, of course. But they have evergreen. So, let's do two of the evergreens. A large and a small. If I can pick it up. I take my pick tools laying right there. I got it out to use it, and then I didn't. And then let's do one of the papaya, which looks yellow, but for this card, it's perfect. So here's this one. Hopefully you can see how beautiful it is. If you're interested in doing my online class, like you can do just videos. So if you live overseas or you um, already have the stuff, you can get just the videos. For this class, I only do PDFs for my larger classes and retreats. Um, and my PDFs are not fancy because I take my time doing the videos. You do get a photo of the project. So super fun. Look how sparkly that is. Hopefully you can see it. So you can see the paper's just arranged a little bit different because they were cut a little bit different. Um, the flower, because I was talking, is darker. Always, always, always. My speckles are darker because I was talking to you all. But if you're information, if interested in the class, then scroll down underneath the video if you're on YouTube. If you're anywhere else, then go to my website or it'll be in my email, the next email that matches this. Um, but I have a, a class link across the top of my webpage. Unless you're on your phone or a tablet, then it's in that thing in the middle and it has classes. So there you go. I will catch you back here later. Bye.